Thunder have been active this offseason. So after landing all defensive guard Alex Caruso in a trade with the Bulls for Josh Giddy straight up, mm. they also retained sharpshooter Isaiah Joe, giving him a four-year, $48 million deal, and wing Aaron Wiggins, who got a five-year, $47 million deal. Monday, they addressed their need at center by snatching Isaiah Hartenstein away from the Knicks with a three-year, $87 million deal. So in Caruso and Hartenstein, the Thunder have added two solid role players to a team that finished first in the West last season. And they didn't have to come up off of any first round picks. How do they keep doing to this? To do so. This is this, away Sam Presti this. is smart. Sam Presti. So what wanna know, we shall start with you. Do you like the Thunder adding Alex Caruso and Isaiah Hartenstein to the roster? I do. But they just still seem like a mediocre team. <laughs> just for the namesake. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like the, on paper, you look at it, you wouldn't it wouldn't glare to you. But then you look at what well, Hartenstein would play the four, uh, five. five. Chattel Chattel starts start to the four. Oh, that's weird. That's that's scary. Then, so then you looking at what Caruso starting at the two. Yuck. Jalen Williams at the He's three. Yuck. yuck. Lockdown <laughs> defender Gil Lakers legend Alex Caruso. Caruso. Yes. I don't think I. You don't think you start Caruso? Who you? Isaiah Joe. You got Dort as well. Joe Wiggins, I'm not, I, I lead him on the bench. Caruso. I, mean, I feel proven. like they're going to have to battle it out in training camp. Because I feel like that proven. spot is. He's proven. But not on this team, not with this team. Just in the league, his years. You know what I'm saying? You don't just throw him out there, trade for him, and then bring him out and the bench. And then bring him for, out the bench. Yeah. yeah, I guess. It makes him stronger, though. Yeah, I, I mean, like they it. address their needs, strengthen the roster. Yeah. It's just uh, no, bland, no, no, no glaring star. I was expecting them to go get a three man. Well, I mean, you expect they Chet to, to kind of come into that star role. And Jalen is yeah. about to be one. Jalen Williams about to. Chet, not a star. Not yet. He said we're. He's getting there, though. You're oh, too, Chet. Yeah, this no. might be the year. He might gain like three gotta, pounds. We don't got to worry about banging with all the Boca. big people no more as much. Chet got potential, but he ain't no star. Williams has got potential. He ain't no star. He's getting close to that, that level, though. Well, Ten you years. think that it'll be easier for them to, to tr transition to the star role now that they have, like, legitimate, like, Proven role players. They just don't have pressure to go prove that they're stars. SJ well, is the only one. They will now, though. SJ, after finishing first. Yeah, but SJ the only one got to hold that up. He's got to hold up the MVP, you know, candidates situation. Honestly, I don't think he has that because I think everyone thinks that that was his award that he should have won. So like, I'm just like. This is his second year, averaging 30. And yeah, and he should have won MVP last. Right. So this year coming in. All the pressure's on him in that team now because now he's the only bona fide star that was like, this your team, like we're on your back and you ain't got no help. Yeah, we, I mean, I can see Jalen Williams becoming an all-star next season if they are one of the top teams. So, so you're going to go what? Shea at the one, Dort at the two, Jalen at the three, Chet at the four, and Harden sign at the five. And then oh, that's so bringing Caruso off the bench. At okay. So that meant Is he the point? Who? Caruso. Caruso. No. His backup point guard? You're going to have to be the backup. Because my thing is, why would you? I knew, I mean, we knew Giddy was gone. I mean, I said he's the odd man now because yeah. he can't shoot. Yeah. Caruso. I think they got rid of him because of the, the bullshit. Yeah, but Caruso can't shoot too, and he's smaller. And he's so smaller. Your, your lineup is very small if he's in the lineup. You can't 6'8 that yeah. had more points, rebounds, and, and assists, passing, yeah. and you bring in a guy who's just there for defense. It's, is a downgrade. And you got Dort yeah. who's in there for defense. That's what I'm saying. So you, it, it will be a downgrade if if you're starting him from who you had before. Yeah. Well, and we'll, So if he comes off the bench, then it makes sense. But as a starter, it, it's going to be a downgrade from last year because you're losing, you're losing height, you're losing someone who can play one, two, three, and guard one, two. But he can score. Like, like Giddy could score. Giddy could get Giddy. you 10. Giddy's 6'8". Yeah. 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 I mean, so he has yeah. 12, 6, and 5. Or some something. confidence issues in the postseason got benched at points during the postseason last year. But you also got to remember, Thunder got about 50, 11 first-round picks. It's not like they can't make some moves to still bring in a potential star at some point down the road. But yeah, he played 80 games last year. That was one thing that nobody talked about with this team. They all played a They lot all played. Games. Yeah. 80, 79, 82, 71, 75. Yeah, I think that's... Chet played all 82 games last year. a bad move for yep. Giddy going to Chicago. I think he'll, he'll play, and, but it's just not going to look the same for him. I, I think he's going to feel out of whack not having a bunch of guys that can contribute to what he do, which is facilitate. Yeah, because they just... There's a lot of 
one on one ISO players on moves. Mm -hmm. yeah. So was not a lot of movement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just bad. So we have a mostly fans question from underdog user Daddy MC. That's his name, so I had to say it. Will Caruso and Hardenstein have an impact on the Thunder the way Drew and Porzingis had with the Celtics? And is it championship or bust for the Thunder now? No and no. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Talking about Porzingis is twenty and ten. I'm, you're talking about Drew Holiday as defensive player. Most of your fans question. Bombing threes. Daddy, you see, I just wanted to get you your fifty dollars. I just wanted to get you your fifty piece. Hardenstein and Hard guy Hard don't. Hardenstein gets the rebound and don't shoot, and then Caruso don't. He's not aggressive, offensively. So, uh. no, I think no, but that's the point too. They have so much flexibility now to be able to move and bring in another big time piece somewhere down the road. Harkenstein is a light skin, um, Kenneth Fareed. What a random. Two black person. men in America. Like he's just out there, energy, play hard, get the rebound. Like he just stole from the bank. Stole. You, you, but that's why you can't. I mean, that's. He stole. That's probably what they need, though. You think so? They need nah. Something. Our resident Knicks fan did. Offensive, he gets offensive. He's he win? <laughs> you don't think he helped last year? I just don't want to disagree. He stole. Why you don't want to disagree? It's you, the, it's you the Knicks. I'm just saying. He right, know that. That's your man, Steve. How, how much did he get paid? 80. Three for 87. He got Three for 87. I think if Knicks, Knicks okay, four if, for 70. If Knicks right? would have signed him back, would you would have been mad? <coughs> At that price tag, it just was too much for the Knicks to do. But uh, it would have been like four for 72, right, or somewhere in yeah, that range. Yeah, something like but that. But even that. He brought a lot of value to the Knicks, more than just rebounding, like decision-making with the ball. He was no, pretty good at that no. for a big, but... Mm -hmm. So um, four, so four was he four years. Have to do that on OKC. Is was four years seventy two too much for him? Or uh, I, I think the Knicks can probably find the replacement at that point. What's the difference between him and Achua? Achua is more athletic. Mm. He can catch them lobs and he go out there and block shots. All Harkenstein do is go out there and hit that ball out for an extra position. Tyson Chandler? Nah. Um, Who Harkenstein like Tyson? I right, heard the ball, you know, no, we saying. like Tyson, but Tyson at least going to go that's block so shots and dunk the ball. Like, IQ. I think he's that, 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 That's IQ? Because a lot of people don't do that. Yeah, I mean, when Are you know that's your only job, that you can actually go out there and do that to stay in the game. Because some people See, that don't, count as a simply, and that don't count as a rebound. No, you tip it's it to extra someone possession. else yeah. to get a rebound. I can't yeah. get it, but... Uh. But some people will let the other team get it. It's a good team thing. It's a good, like, you've got a guy that's going to go out there and know... Damn just I hit the ball. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, back. High yeah. IQ, Rashad. Nah, a black man in America. Possessor mil. of a black job. 84 mil to re-up to do that. <laughs> black job. <laughs> but shout out to uh, Jonathan Isaac. He got paid, too, down there in Orlando. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It's a lot of guys getting getting some money that everyone deserve it. Everyone getting paid. Mm -hmm. Everyone well, getting paid. Everyone except Josiah Johnson. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, man, Josiah, uh, you, you got like six jobs, bro. Yeah. yeah. I know, you, you was on the live fucking snitching on me. I have an image that I project. Uh, yeah, I see that. You're the same one I got. I a normal, I'm just a normal, regular human. At least you're not getting stood up, my nigga. Uh, <laughs> it hurt? Man. I Pride. think that shit hurt Pride. your feelings. You acting like you Pride. didn't care. But. All right, no, no, the fact, no, listen. No, because I was waiting. The fact that it's been I was two up hours. And I was waiting. It's been two hours. I was waiting. You I was a good dressed. Man. I, was I, know, I know you had you a good game dressed? plan. Yes. Good game plan. You didn't just fitted. take yourself out to Nobu, just have a nice feel good time. I was gonna just do that, and now Ling Ling took an overtime, and I said, she, I'm going to 6 30 appointment, for Ling Ling, always going to sleep, man. I had the Nobu my thing, too. on and everything. This was the first date? First date. First date at Nobu. Wait, where is Says this? a lot. Hey, that, yeah, that, like, that, he about to have I some DM. No I was willing. Applebee's, bro. See, he, about to, hey, listen, he about to have some DM Nobu. I said, I, Nobu. I, I give you something for some you Nobu. Talking about Applebee's. I ain't had a sister in a minute. It's been a minute since I opened the sister gate. It's Applebee's, <laughs> cheesecake, Nobu. Yeah, he went straight to the Applebee's. And he, and he was taking the sister to Nobu, so you yeah, know he. You gotta take the risk. You gotta take the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Take Shaw, the risk. Shaw, Shaw just take be the risk. He be yapping. Yeah. Don't yeah. 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 be yapping. Yeah. Y'all was on my ass. Yeah. Look That's at him. Y'all yeah. gotta get. Hey, listen, ladies, ladies. For no ladies, lady, he's a softie out. He's a softie. Gotta get through him. Foot massages and butt rubs and all kind of shit. I do all that. I do all that shit. Trying to make a move for PG. I don't tell you about the dessert until it's over with the. Meal over with. We going to the crib. And Try to make a, a nice little foot massage. Yeah. Try to make Zerting a move for PG. Night. Ended up having to go to Ling Ling. It's That's all it, good. Man. Shout I'm, out to I'm Ling I'm cool Ling. on them. So after <laughs> after the news of iHeart coming to the Thunder broke, Chet Holmgren showed him some love with the following tweet. 
saying, welcome to the O, my bright-skinned twin. Chet is a white man, isn't he? Well, he has Negro tendencies. He likes Jamaican food. I don't know. I mean, OKC okay, team, they're very unserious. <laughs> I, yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chet yeah. is a very unserious they're human so being, but he, he is comedy. My bright skin twin, they do kind of favor each other. No, that, that, I like that. I like the team itself because it's a team. Like when they do the little group Yeah, the interviews. group interviews. It feels like a little college. You hope that it lasts. Like, they, they roll with each other. Seems like these guys are all about it. But is the four spot. Can I ask you something? What they do. But they do right here, right? So no one has the pressure on each other yeah. and they can divide, right? We like this. Yeah. You remember when D Wade and LeBron used to do it together, right? It was pointed out mm. as weakness. Mm. Do what? When they did the interviews, they always did the interviews together, like, so yeah. you couldn't say, Except well, LeBron know. has said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't do that because they both sitting right there. Which one do you like better? So for me, you know, I them, there's enough I feel stars like that's in, like on their team. team. This comes it. from like a like, more genuine, more yeah. youthful, yeah. like. But you know how, like, like Jalen Brown, you know how they keep throwing that back and forth. It, it seems like moving forward, they should be in it to together. Stop a, to stop the narratives that Our they try to do between. Together. You go there together now. Someone can't creep they in don't. and say that dumb shit. Yeah. Is it a? Is it a? Do they agree upon that before? Like, if I, me and Jalen had this, hey, whenever we do interviews, we're going to do it together. Well, that's why I think people it, it, like the OKC, because I don't the, think that they... The media, it's the, your media personnel should be doing that now. Yeah, y'all all, all like, go. Yeah, yeah, just go. Just, hey, man, because, you know, because what happens is I'm, I'm uh, saying something But they you. generally got to like each other, or else it's going to look real forced. Yeah. Like, you can't, you got to make sure that the vibes is right, because people are going to see right through that. Yeah, like you said, if that is uh, OKC is a college team, you can kind of sense that they kind of all hang out and yeah, play 2K. They all hang yeah. out. Yeah, they they ain't shit to do in OKC, they so. <laughs> and they work all, know each other, high five and shit. You want to pull up to my post game interview? Yeah. Shit, ain't shit else to do out here. Applebee's. Yeah. They shop at the same yeah. store. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like Chet now moving over to the four and kind of playing that exclusively? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. You know, last year was a learning learning curve for him, and he played well. I mean, you know, um, I think if his team wasn't as good as it was, he his numbers would have been better. But the fact that he still played like that with the the, the caliber of player that he had, you know, shows what what type, what type of talent he is. So putting him at the four, I, I don't know if I put him at the four. I, I think you know, it'll go back and forth. It depends on who he's guarding. Yeah. Right, it depends on who's, who's the, guarding. At least you have the option now. Yeah. To move I like Harkins down at the four. Yeah, that's what I said. It all depends. We playing against Greek, take your ass to Lopez. Yeah. We, you know, we guard Embiid, take your ass to whoever this is. <laughs> right, so you get, to, you get to switch them a little bit. So yeah. it kind of kind of, kind of helps them. Yeah. Like your shot? It's okay, man. There, there are other fish in the sea. Mm. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, I mean... Who wouldn't want to go to the I just never was sold on Chet. Okay, I'm just I just saying. never was sold on Chet. I, you know, I was the Bobo guy. I, I'm a Wimby guy now. Shout Bobo out to Bobo. At. So a lot of us are rocking. They gave him one year deal. In Phoenix, man, Bobo gonna stay employed. Good for him. Shout out Bobo and the Bobo family. He's just ready for him to just. Can't teach it. They don't want to give it to him. Why not? Because he don't want it. Yeah, but they keep keeping him on the team. He that good? Because he got. That's so crazy. Some upside. Shout out to Bobo. His how up, long? his up. Well, we gonna talk about his upside until how old? How old? Until about, about thirty. Age out of the upside. At least about 20, 40, 20, 20, How old is he? Twenty-eight, twenty-seven, about twenty-three, maybe. Hey, and he in the city where there's a bunch of work, and that he just out there. Like, if you ain't playing, you working. Yeah. Yeah. Bobo, 20, you twenty-four playing, years old, oh, still a young yeah, man. He got you know, years about, of upside. You know, though. you know the thing about <laughs> Bobo. He needs a, he needs a Van Gunny or Nate McMillan. Yeah. That's the coach that needs him. Put a fire in him. A little bit. To push him, to keep him, like, to keep him going. But you also need, he's like one of those guys that look like he needs to be rewarded. Yes, I was just about like to you say, can't, they got to reward I just thought him. about it. He needs a coach that's going to reward him, right? Like, you know how it's like, do this first and I reward you. Some people you need to reward first so they can see like, what oh, they I like got. You, oh, I, I like this feeling. So oh, my God. Keep doing if you yeah. keep doing this, I keep giving oh, I can you do, I can do. Go out there, play 38, 40 minutes, and then see how that feels like in preseason. In preseason, he's playing 48. 
I need to. I need for him to see feel, what it see feels what like. Maximum potential. Right. So go out there and play. You, there's no sub for you. Yep. Go. Let me see what you do. Yep. So now he's out there playing a the game. Now when he's done, he knows how his body feels and says. Hey, I, I, I like this. This what this feel like? This what this feel like? <laughs> this what 38 feel now, like? Now he might start coming in early, oh, yeah. right? Because if you ain't getting no minutes, man, you, you, let's At just be At a certain honest. point, you're like, all right. All right, fuck it. No, yeah, your man. body adjusts differently. Yeah. 20 minutes to 38 minutes, yeah. you're like, yo. I see how Gil really feel like he did. Gil, you doing this shit? Now you got a little motherfucker that's the living weight. Like, what you doing here, Bobo? Hey, daddy. You're 38, dude. They're coming at me now. They're coming at me. I need some meat on these bones. Oh, shit. Oh, and that motherfucker, the game started at 7. He walking in at 6.59. Hey, man. Who we playing tonight? Eating fries and shit. Yeah, they don't start there. You done forgot the schedule. Hey, who we playing tonight? Let me get a burger, man. Let me get a burger. Snickers, get a Snickers. I made a whole YouTube video saying we playing this team, and it was not the team we was playing. Why? Damn, you learned a valuable lesson. I was like, oh wait, we're not playing this team. We're playing a different team. So two hours before the game starts. Correction. Two hours before the game starts. Yikes. So 